Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I kind of wanted to do something different and it's not every day I do videos that are like not related to tech. This one isn't really related. This is kind of more so just looking back at my past and kind of laughing at it to be honest. You know, there's a lot of funny things and a lot of mistakes that we make as people, but it's better to grow and all that stuff. I'm not trying to get all philosophical on you guys, but, but I kind of wanted to hit on the renders that I've made in the past and kind of laugh at them because to be honest, like I was looking at my photo yesterday and dude, I made some really bad renders even up until like earlier this year like there were some really really bad ones and it's kind of cool because looking at it now like my met renders are still not even that good that you know i need to improve on them a lot but seeing like the love that i get from them and like seeing all these other huge instagram and like content people who like post other people's renders like they post mine all the time and i get tagged on them and they get like thousands of likes and it's so insane because like because looking back at how my renders were and looking at them now it's insane that people show love you know my mine are still not that good there's people who have so many more better renders than me but it's awesome to look back so and it's kind of like i guess like inspiration never gave up but it, i'm not even gonna hit on that because that's not true at all <laughs> now this first render that i wanted to hit on i mean it's kind of blurry you're not gonna be able to see it that well but dude this is pretty bad <laughs> So this was like last year, as you can see, it was a year ago, but it was probably like almost two years ago. And this was like my iPhone SE 2 render before I even did them. So how I do them now, I do all my renders in Photoshop and everything. And as you can see, this one was not that good. I'm pretty sure the iPhone SE 2 is not going to look like this. And this cycle went on for a while because even this one, I mean, look at this one. What was I thinking? Like, it makes absolutely no sense. Like, first of all, like this is completely not even lined up properly. And the top, <laughs> look at the top of its head. Like this one, this one's pretty bad. Bad. This one was pushing it in my opinion, but again, that was a year ago. That got 38,000 views, which I'm pretty surprised about. I didn't even deserve 38 views to be honest. Now, what's funny is when I made this one, I was like, you know what? This one is actually not that bad <laughs> at that time when I made it. But looking at it now, I mean, dude, this one is so bad. <laughs> I don't even know why. I don't even know how I made these. Like, look, this is completely not lined up properly. This is so messed up. Like, this is insane. That one got 13,000 views. I don't even know who was watching my videos at this time. I mean, they were not that good. And this one was like the exact same thing as that one. It was like the same exact angle, but I was like, it's the same photo, but then I saw the time and that was off. So I don't really understand what's going on here. You know, this one I think was the best one out of all those. This one makes the most sense, but dude, honestly, I mean, looking, looking at that first one, even looking at this one, this one is pretty bad. But for my iPhone SE 2 renders, this is probably the cream of the crop. I don't know what I was thinking about those ones. Now this one is actually for the OnePlus 7, aka the OnePlus 7 Pro, but this was a totally different phone. Then they eventually made it something else, but this one does not line up that bad. This one actually doesn't look that bad once you look at it, but this is so off. I mean, look how pixelated this image is compared to the rest, and I still had a little bit of the older image cropped out. I literally just took that OnePlus image and just put this camera on it as best I could, and it was so bad. This one is like, this one was definitely not the worst one, but it was still pretty bad. Speaking about OnePlus, this is their OnePlus 6T, and this one was not that bad either. I just had the OnePlus 6 or 6T at the time, and this was like their inbuilt fingerprint sensor, and this is well, something, so, so, it was so stupid. But the reason I brought this up is because this is the reason why Germans were mad at me. If you remember last year, the Germans had so much beef with me. I love the Germans, I love them a lot. But I said something, I don't even remember what I said, but like every other comment was a German, like it was a German yelling at me and everything. I apologize to all Germans at the time, and I still apologize to them. If you want to look back at my channel, find the find the video with this thumbnail, and then you'll watch and then watch the video like two videos after and you'll find out but that's that one this next one is of the ipad mini 5 before it came out and it was pretty much going to look like the ipad pro that i rendered up and what's so bad about this one is if you look at these thumbnails look at this i mean these were so off first of all these icons are so stretched out and first of all the photos app is completely out it's not even there it's like hidden it's like hiding from the rest of the screen even down here, I mean, look at the settings and this isn't even lined up. This one was pretty bad. And then I was going to put a dual camera setup here, but I was like, dude, I cannot do that. It's going to be way too hard. And this was just like a year ago. Look how bad this one was. This one was, this one was probably one of the worst renders I made for an iPad at least. And my iPad X renders were actually not that bad, but this one was so bad for some reason. This next one is actually the iPhone SE 2. And if you don't look too closely, you might actually think it's like the iPhone 4 or something. But if you're looking at the screen, depending on which screen you're looking at this through, depending on how it takes the blacks, as you can see, I took an iPhone SE, just like a standard one, and I tried to make it all glass back and the Apple logo, that's so messed up. It is so much. I don't know why I did this. It's so bad. Eventually, I switched it up. I don't even remember. I didn't. Even, I didn't even change the back of the iPhone SEs anymore because they were so bad when I did these renders. And for a lot of the renders that I do, I take existing images and just kind of remodel them and re-update them. That's the ones that work best for me. I know a lot of people do 3D models. I hope to one day be as talented as those people, but currently I'm not. But as you can see, this one was, this, this one's pretty bad. You know, I don't think the iPhone SE 2 is going to be looking like that. Now, this next one, I made this last year. It was probably less than a year ago. And I cannot believe 
the idiocracy that was inside of me. I mean, look at this thing, okay? <laughs> this is an iPhone SE 2 mock-up. I mean, looking at where I'm at now and where I, where I was just like here, and dude, at the time of me making this, I was like, this is actually not that bad of a render. Like, this actually looks pretty good. <laughs> but this is so bad, okay? First of all, look at that. This screen is cutting into my, like, thumb. That makes no physical sense at all. The changes of these were pretty bad. I mean, the, the corners of these were pretty bad. If you look up top, the top is what gets me the most. I mean, again, look at the top of his head. I mean, dude, this is insane. I colored this off. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. And then I colored this. I don't know why I colored, colored these. I don't know what the difference, why I did that. But as you can see, this is cutting into the no sim signal here. And then this is cutting into, I mean, dude, this was, I butchered this one. And the fact that I sat there and was like, you know what? This is actually not that bad. That is insane. I don't even know what version of iOS this is on because that looks so weird to me. Oh, you know what? Well, you know what it is because this is just, you know what I did here? I literally just took the iPhone SE image that was on there and just stretched it out. So that's why I was like, how did I get the percent on there? But it's just an iPhone SE. Those already have percentages on them. Look at the icons. They're completely stretched out. This is basically what not to do. You know, this is not something you want to be known for. I don't know why I did this. That is so insane. <laughs> that's probably the worst one I have. This next one, I don't even know which one this was. Oh, you know what? This actually isn't that bad, okay? So I did the same concept here. I pretty much just took that same thing and just kind of stretched it out, you know, made the screen. But this one actually didn't turn out that bad. It's still really, really bad, you know, for today's standards. But from like, a, if you're looking at like this far, you you can't really tell that much in my opinion. But once you kind of zoom in, like that's kind of where, and I wonder, look at this, the date is completely messed up. Like I had to like crop it together and stitch it together. I freaking drew right here. Why did I do that? And I switched it over here too. I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I drew there. I'm just noticing these things. I mean, this was like, when was this October 1st, a year ago? So this was almost like about a year and a month ago. This was completely off. This is so bad. This is like not even lined up properly and it says press home button to open down here press home to open there's no home button on this phone so why would that even be there and this one was i just butchered this one completely i mean this one is and i don't even know if i put this out on a video or not i might have but that's so embarrassing for me that's probably one of the worst ones i did now this one was one of the galaxy s10 so i took a galaxy s9 stretched that image out on the screen and again it, it just doesn't work out well for me when i do things like that now i kind of switched up my way i do things and it works out way better but this one just does not look that good i have too much like this does not make any sense here the uh, the rest actually doesn't look that bad but just the sides you know there's too much white going off i didn't line it up properly <laughs> this next one <laughs> i don't know what i was thinking this was basically how i envisioned the galaxy s10 you know and built fingerprint sensor at the time so this was the 17th of october last year and i think i took that same image and i just found some fingerprint sensor thing on google and i just put a year like so bad i mean this is an embarrassment to everything i'm so sorry guys if i'm offending anybody i apologize i really should have not have been doing this this next one is the same thing as the one plus seven as i did before just the same camera image as before it it's like i took a really good image that one plus made and i just totally butchered it by putting it there it doesn't even make any sense like i don't know what i was thinking and for some reason i don't know why i was obsessed with that camera because i did the same thing for this one and as you can see honestly this one doesn't look too bad but again i just left that older camera image thing pop up at the, at the end of it and i should have landed up properly a little bit better but thankfully the one plus seven is made so i don't have to worry about those renders anymore now this is what i envisioned the iphone 11 or 11 x or whatever it was going to be this is what i envisioned the inbuilt fingerprint sensor and this one is not that bad because i didn't have to do any crazy photoshopping i just had to align this properly and i'm pretty sure it's not going to look like that i i, I think this is like one of the most tamest ones i've had so this isn't in too crazy but it's still kind of a, it's still up there you know it's definitely not didn't take too much energy for me to do that let's just say now back when the iPhone 11 when it wasn't made this is what people were rendering it to be and we were pretty close you know we weren't too far off but if you see that image like this is completely <laughs> Like I could have thought of 40 different ways, and this wasn't even that long ago. I could have thought of like 40 different ways, better ways to actually execute this. This was definitely the worst way ever. I mean, the rest of the phone was intact. I didn't have to do anything crazy like in the outside, like no changing of this or this. The thickness is the same, obviously. What's weird though is that the one color that I bought of the iPhone XR is the one color that they removed of the iPhone 11. So these renders are pretty much useless because this is not what the iPhone 11 even looks like. But as you can see, this camera sensor is not lined up properly. I didn't Photoshop this properly this image is totally butchered right here i should have done a better job there and honestly if i redid it now i could make it look way better but that's pretty bad that i did that and i do apologize if i offended anybody that's pretty insane that i did that and this next one i mean it's the same exact thing but this one is probably even worse than that one i don't even know what i was thinking it's so unbelievably bad like i could have thought of a billion different ways to go about doing it the flash is messed up the camera isn't even lined up here at all <laughs> it's so bad and 
you know what? And even this one, look at this. This isn't like, how does that make any physical sense? You know, but you know what? At the end of the day, you know, things happen. And it's funny to look back and, you know, see like, oh my God, like this is where I was a year ago or two years ago. But looking at it now, it, I love seeing the progress and seeing it. I mean, if you think about it two years ago or a year ago, nobody would be posting this image. You know, if I posted this now, nobody would be, you know, even caring about it. They would look at it and be like, okay, that's really weird. The fact that I got 25,000 views is crazy to me because that's, I mean, for now, that's not, that's kind of like average, but like at that time for this image, that's pretty insane that that was captivating. I think people were clicking on it just to dislike that video because they were like, dude, like what the heck is this guy thinking? It's not going to look like that. But like I said, looking at these renders now where I'm at now and looking at my renders that I'm making currently, I mean, it's kind of cool to see that improvement. Like I said, it's still not perfect. I have a lot of mishaps and mistakes and everything, but to see people actually kind of love the renders that we're making here and seeing that improvement with me is awesome and let me tell you i want to thank you guys like it's so awesome like i never get to thank you guys enough even though i say it in every video it's kind of crazy how people like the renders that i make and it's awesome and i love it and i'm so humbled and i love you guys so much so that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or anything leave it down in the comment section below hit that like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.